So, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I am going to be showing you what a typical room looks like over at Riverhawk Village. Uh, and this is my senior year housing. So a little bit about Riverhawk Village. It's located on East Campus. So it's right next to actually U Suites and over near the Songa Center, which is where a lot of the hockey games happen. Riverhawk Village is one of the premium housings on campus that you can get that are available for students besides the townhouses. This doesn't mean that if you're a freshman you can't live here. Plenty of freshmen can live here. I'm just a senior and this is my senior living currently for this year. So, welcome to my room. So, a couple things I'd like to say before obviously we go through the video is just a few things about Riverhawk Village. Uh, Riverhawk Village is more apartment style dorms. So you might have seen over on this side uh, a full kitchen, but all the dorms within Riverhawk Village are more apartment style, which is the main reason why most of the upperclassmen find themselves living here for their junior or senior year. Like I said, not, not saying that freshmen can't uh, specifically live in Riverhawk Village, but it's definitely something juniors and seniors look towards the end of their college career. So if we want to walk over to the kitchen, we can take a look at that first thing too. But they feature a full stove and microwave, and also a dishwasher with a sink. Plenty of cabinets for any plates and just kitchenware items and five people living in this dorm. It's been a great addition having this kitchen, being able to cook food during the day, at night. Uh, it's really just gives you the option. There is also a full fridge, which is right behind me, both a freezer and a refrigerator, which is also really nice. You might have seen my last video at uh, Riverview. That kind of like featured a half kitchen, but here we've got a full kitchen, which is really nice. I think this is probably one of the highlights about living at Rock Grill, just, just being able to, like I said, cook, kind of do apartment things within a college dorm. Uh, if you choose specifically Riverhawk Village, typically the meal plan that is tied within your school bill will be a apartment meal style plan, which basically allots seven meals per week. So that's usually the way I usually break it down is seven, uh, a meal a day. They also give you a thousand Riverhawk dollars, which is a lot. You can typically use that at places like Starbucks, uh, the Pod Market, both located on South and East. Cumnock, which is the kind of study area, but there's also a cafeteria within there. So you can definitely stretch your stuff, but again, like this is more of an apartment style dorm. So you'll see things like apartment style meal plans where they kind of expect you to pick up some groceries and kind of cook for yourself, which is why you can definitely opt out for a gold unlimited plan. Uh, but that will obviously add more to your school bill. Don't mind the, the cones, it's, we're putting those back, so don't worry. Most of these dorms have two bathrooms uh, that I know of. They should have two bathrooms, so one of the bathrooms as you come out this door, there's a bathroom actually directly right over there. So that's Aiden and Steven's bathroom. It's not really linked to the room. I'll show up my bathroom more in depth because my room is actually behind this door, but the bathroom is actually connected with it as well. So obviously before I continue, I don't want to take credit for being the first one who had started kind of making dorm tour videos. There's been a couple of people who have made dorm tour videos, so definitely check those other videos out. Because like I said, Riverhawk Village, with all the rooms here, they're all different. I don't think I've ever seen a room that's been identical to each other, so every room is very different. But, so this is kind of like the main common area. I am roughly around 6'1", and these ceilings, I think the one thing that's been super attractive about just living here at Riverhawk Village is how tall the ceilings are. Like I said, I am 6'1", so I'll go, I'll go right next to the pole, and I am probably barely half the height of how tall these ceilings are. So the overall room and living area, this is kind of the common area, it's, it's pretty big. Over there on the left or right, I don't know which way is which on the screen. One of them is my desk and the other one is my roommate's desk. And I'll go into the reason why that our specific desk are out in the common area. But like I said, this is just kind of the common area. We've got a main table here and then we've got a couch setup. Uh, but let me just bring you over for a closer look. And you can kind of see it's, it's a pretty big area, but 
I think the one thing that's really nice is just the overall view that we get from the dorms. So we've got a couch, a little table. Um, they do include this little kind of TV stand, but the speaker and the TV is what my roommate brought. We've got a couple plants on that side, but I think one of the coolest part has to be just the overall view. So I live on the fifth floor, but the view on our side is the view of the back of Lowell. The Sangha Center is actually just over there, uh, but that's the Merrimack, and this is kind of the view that we get in the back. One thing you'll kind of see throughout a lot of the rooms is the brick. These, specifically Riverhawk Village, from my knowledge, um, it used to be actually old Lowell mill buildings, and designers actually designed these around for dormitories, and that's the main reason why specifically. I live in the deluxe, versions of these rooms. So they're a little bit nicer, they've got a little bit bigger space, specifically probably in the common area. That door over there is my room. It's fully closed off and ate my friend. Perfect, so their room. I'm not gonna show you their room because that's for privacy reasons. The biggest thing I'd like to highlight thumbnail is thumbnail ideas, thumbnail, thumbnail. In some of the Riverhawk Village rooms, some of the rooms actually, the walls don't fully go up. They're kind of known and called as like cubicles within the dorm where it's a bed and the walls actually don't go high up. Specifically in my room, both rooms are actually fully closed off. So that's one thing that's been really nice, just having this many people, five people within this type of dorm. I think if we ended up in a quad where it was a triple and a single, it might be a little bit more difficult. But that's something that I'd like just to kind of point out is that some rooms might be closed off, some are not. And I think most of the rooms are either like quads or five person suite style, like apartment style dorms. So this is kind of where I spend most of my time actually when I come back from work or classes. My desk is right over here. My roommate's Christian's desk is in the back. But these tables are provided. They also provide some drawers. So that's something that's super nice is you don't have to pay additional for desk and chairs. These chairs are also provided. One thing that I learned actually this year and I had these actual chairs last time is these chairs, they look solid, correct? My friend Maddie showed me this really cool trick that I didn't know of. And also if you have these chairs at like Donahue, Leech, Riverview, there's a lash actually below it right here. And this whole part comes off. And I was like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> when I found, I, I spent four years in school and I only found out now and I had chairs like these over at Riverview. So something to kind of keep an eye out if you have something like these. Let me take you off the tripod for just a second. But nothing really exciting. I just got a couple camera gear stuff, my computer that I do most of my schoolwork. Another thing I really love about living at River Rock Village is actually the ability to do laundry and also dry our clothes within the room, which is also really nice. Because before, when I lived in Riverview, I actually had to take the elevator six flights down and do my laundry down on the first floor. Whereas the laundry here are all located specifically in each room. So each room has its own laundry and also dryer, which is also really cool. The design might not be the same, but mine specifically has currents and the laundry is done behind there. So that's something that I've been really enjoying living at uh, Riverhawk Village. The way the triple is actually designed, I need to make this a little brighter. In my specific room, there's three of us in the room. My bed's the one directly in front of the window, and my two roommates are on each side. Originally, the way the room was set up was, it actually was set up with one bed on the ground and a bunk bed set up, and all the desks, I believe, were on this side over here. So that's why my, myself and my other roommate, we decided to leave our desk on the other side because we personally all wanted beds just kind of by itself. I don't think anyone really wanted to be on a bunk bed. Um, so that's the main reason why we moved our personal desk and my desk as well outside to the common area. Just to have a little bit more space right behind me. So it, if you imagine the room is basically like a long hallway. My bed's over there. My roommate's closet are actually these doors behind me. They're sliding doors. I'll show you exactly where my closet is because my closet is actually not in this room. It's actually outside to the common area. This is our bathroom. So all the bathrooms, there's two bathrooms. It's a full bathroom with a shower, sink, and a toilet. Um, plenty of storage. 
in regards to just being able to have stuff. There's an additional mirror that folds out that has stuff in here, and just a full sink with also a bottom door as well too. So the bathrooms are nice. It's honestly way nicer having a personal bathroom uh, than a more communal bathroom found in the smaller dorms like Fox or Leech or Bouge. Uh, Donahue's have their own bathrooms within their suites, but same thing with River Rock Village and also Riverview as well. Um, so this is kind of like my room. Aiden and Steven's room is a little bit different. Their rooms are a similar design, but they don't have their bathroom connected. Uh, which is another part. If you imagine basically the two beds, they've actually got a walk-in closet, which is really nice. So that's something that we don't have, but we have a bathroom connected instead of a walk-in closet. So they got a little bit more room in regards to the closet. So we're gonna go back outside to the common area and I'll show you what my closet looks like. Everybody's gone. I'm filming this before Easter and before I go home, but let me put you back on the tripod. So you might have seen this in my last vlog, but my closet is actually right in the common area, but this is my closet. Uh, most of the closets will fold out like doors. They're kind of like accordion style. They're pretty good, so you've got a good amount of stuff for both top and bottom, and there's also a top drawer as well, or top shelf as well. So that's also pretty nice. Kind of like the one drawback about living here is I feel like I'm always just going back and forth every time I need to change and then also grab some stuff if I forget something. So it's kind of pros and cons of having a closet. Perfect, so I hope you enjoyed my UMass Lowell River Hawk Village dorm tour video. And like I said, again, if you have any questions down below, feel free to ask any questions. I'd love to see if I can answer some of the questions that you have about this specific dorm. But I figured honestly, since I did a dorm tour over at Riverview on South, I figured it'd be cool to do a dorm tour video of where I'm currently living for my last year and my last senior year here on campus. So thank you again, I hope you enjoy, uh, but I'll catch you later. Your remedy for the saddle, I'll climb your canopy to make it rain from time to time.